Hi everyone, in the previous video, I showed you how to set up the data layer and GTM pixel in Shopify. Today, I will guide you through creating triggers, variables, and tags in Google Tag Manager. In the last video, I provided the GTM pixel in the description which we will use to track specific events. The key events will be working with today are product viewed, added to cart, cart viewed, checkout started, checkout completed. Of course, you can create additional events if needed. I recommend watching this video without skipping so you can fully understand how to set up these events and tags properly. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at the preview mode in GTM. This will help you understand how tracking works and why the GTM pixel is necessary for customer events. Currently, we can track all events except purchase using the data layer we added to the theme.liquid file. Previously, we could track purchase by placing a script in checkout additional scripts. But Shopify has deprecated this option and now recommends using Pixel in the customer event. This update means GTM alone cannot track the purchase event. But don't worry, I will show you an easy way to track it. To get started, let's first find the Google tag. Go to Google Analytics Admin, navigate to Data Collection and Modification, click on Data Streams, copy the measurement ID. Now let's create a variable in GTM. Click New under Variables, click Variable Configuration, choose Constant variable paste the measurement id in the value box name it google tag and save now let's create a google tag for tracking click tags new click tag configuration and choose google tag paste the google tag which call measurement id into the tax id box in the trigger triggering section select all pages name the tag ga4 tag and save now let's create triggers for firing events i will provide the necessary event names in the description click trigger new Click Trigger Configuration, choose Customer Event. For the first trigger, enter the event name exactly as it appears in the GTM pixel. Example, Product Viewed. Name each Product Viewed trigger and save. To create the rest of the triggers, simply duplicate the first trigger, change the event name and trigger name accordingly.
now we will create variables to track important event data click variables new click variable configuration choose data layer variable enter the data layer variable name example client id you can find all the necessary variable names in the gtm pixel from the previous video's description Now that we have our triggers and variables set up, let's create event tags. Click tags, new, click tag configuration, choose Google Analytics, GA4 events, select Google tag. name the event product viewed copy it exactly from the gtm pixel choose product view trigger name the tag gf4 product viewed now let's set up even parameters to track data copy the parameters name from gtm pixel paste them into the event parameters box select the matching value Repeat this process for the rest of the event by duplicating the first tag and changing the event name, triggers and tag name accordingly. If you miss creating any value in the variables, don't worry. Just click on the plus icon, then click on it again to create a value.
for the begin checkout event, I will create user provided data to track customer details. Since GTM does not allow show all firing tags, we will check them in Google Analytics debug view. Everything looks good. However, customer details on appear here. Google Analytics collects them, but they remain hidden. If you want to verify the data, you can create parameters and values to see if they match correctly.
open debug view in Google Analytics. Verify that all events and tags are firing correctly. Now you can see that all events parameters are providing accurate data. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my Facebook page for more tutorials, tips and tricks like this.